Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker and today I'm making a video about another custom order. Uh, it's not something that I haven't done before, it's closures 5x5. Five five. She requested two of them and she sent the hair of course. And um, I'm making the video because I promised every time I make an order I'm gonna make a video because every time I might face something that I might want to show you. So. Uh, you learn from my mistakes if I do something or if I face uh, an issue I solve it so you know how to solve it as well so here's what this girl has sent me a lot of hair this is um, like one third of what she sent me so this is a lot of hair and I told her that I don't need all this hair but it's okay she sent it to me now these are hand tied wefts and they are reinforced as I can see with uh, with sewing machine stitching anyway um, here's what um, this is the natural curl of the hair and this is the hair that I'm not gonna use and I'm gonna send this back to hair and this is the hair that I will probably use and I straightened it don't judge it by the curl pattern exactly like the other one now this hair seems to be it seems to be like 6A or 7A hair, which means that it doesn't have really short strands. Also, these are factory made wefts. They are not hand tied wefts, but the hair is identical. Now the 6A hair means that they have a lot of thickness up to the ends, but they don't have really short strands. They do have shorter strands, but not so low. So here is what, she asked me to make two closures with this hair, uh, whatever I can use, of course. And if I have enough hair, and I'm pretty sure that I will have, because this hair and the other one is enough to make like two units or something, I should make like a two inch by four inch mini closure if it's possible. It is possible. So here's what I'm gonna do. First of all, this hair over here, this is the longest one that I have, and it's extremely thick. Look at that. I have a ponytail right now, and it's not that thick. <laughs> It's all my hair. So I think that this is gonna be more than enough to make the two band to the two weft uh, Sorry the two closures But I have the rest of the hair here. This is slightly shorter than that. You can see that it's a little shorter You can see Yeah, you can see So whatever I need I have plenty of hair to use if I see any super tiny um, Hair strands, I'm gonna discard them obviously here this is a long one and yeah pretty much that it now this hair is um i think it's chinese i don't know if they call it cambodian or brazilian or anything this sounds this looks chinese to me it's extremely thick hair uh it's i can work with that of course not in fragile uh, laces so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take uh from the the webs that i'm gonna be working with i'm gonna take a small like this pinch of every one of them and then i'm gonna bleach it if i see that it's ble it bleaches easily that means that this is virgin hair because i really want to bleach the knots after that so if it if it's not bleachable then i will try to see this hair maybe i, I will see what i'm gonna use small update um i'm gonna be whispering a little bit because everyone is sleeping i'm a little pissed off right now because i just thought about something um, this bleached here and it didn't bleach here. This bleached everywhere, but it became just like, you know, a dark brown. This didn't bleach at all. This bleached well enough. This bleached slightly less well enough. You can see the difference. So, um, how do I know that all the other wefts are gonna act like that? Or that, or maybe we have something like that. So, I'm really pissed off with the hair vendors. It's not the customer's fault. She obviously didn't know that she got hair that is not virgin, or maybe she didn't even care about it. But when you want bleach knots, you have to care. So here's what I did. From every piece that I have, like um, this for example, I got some strands from here, then from here, then here, and made them a little bundle. And they're named three. There they are. I have made for every bundle that I have from the from the factory uh, wefts first. This is the 
rest of it. Um, I'm gonna bleed them and see which one bleeds and which one didn't bleed. Because if I find one that is bleeding very nicely, I'm gonna use it. If I find one that is not bleeds at all, I'm not gonna use it. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when I went through all the bundles that I have, I realized that not everything has the same um, texture. Like for example, this is more rough and you know it's more shiny and plastic feeling than this for example so this is number two this is number three so what's the difference let's see how well these take the bleach okay so um it seems that not everything is uh processed not everything is virgin so number nine four six and ten which i have them here next to me they are bleached enough to be and, and you know I didn't leave it for too long so this bleach is uh, acceptable in my opinion number 10 sorry number two is the only one that um, bleached a little more than that and a little, little less than that and I think I could I could use it um, but uh, I would have to bleach it like a second time because I got another piece of it and blitzed it two times and you can see that it turned like a little bit orangey I don't know if this is acceptable for for knots but it's possible and then I have number one three eight seven and five and they just hardly even bleached like uh, one of them is almost non bleached at all look at that so yeah I'm gonna use only this hair now let me just find okay this is number two and number two is the one that's almost bleeds and the sad story is that this is the most of all it's it has the biggest body of all you can see how much it is and it's the longest so i'm gonna see what i'll do with it because as i said when i blitz it a second time it actually bleeds a little more so i will have to see what's what's the deal with that and then of course i have the others that are bleached there they are and this over here uh, it's not too much but I think it's enough to make a closer at least one of them I'm gonna see what I will do for the second one so I'm gonna take them all aside And also when I send this back to her, I'm gonna send everything back all this is gonna be sent back all this uh, hair and the bundles that are not bleached are gonna be sent back to her and the bundles that are non bleachable I have them right over here these are the ones that are not bleached at all so I'm gonna keep it inside here I'm not gonna use it for the pieces obviously and yeah and now I need an elastic so I just made two bases and they're pretty much identical if I could say so they have the ribbon and I have them stitched with the sewing machine and you can see that it has a black thread now it doesn't really matter because right here I'm gonna ventilate really dense in order to conceal everything else so if the stitching is visible I'm pretty sure that this ribbon would be visible and the tracks would be visible so this is not my concern and yeah they have the little darts here if you can see where is something because I always want the the closures when they're so big like if they were like that big they wouldn't have to be curved because they're so small but when they grab like almost um, like the whole top of your head they need to curve a little bit we've already talked about that and here it's not visible now but what I'm gonna do is the hairline is gonna come up to here so in the side she's gonna be able to stitch it over here sew it on her head but I don't have a ribbon because if the ribbon goes up to the front this is an extra of course if it goes up to the front then it's gonna be a little visible so I finished the ribbon slightly behind like the hairline is gonna come up to here so all this is just gonna be this lace single 
layer, no uh, fold, no ribbon, no nothing. Yes, you're gonna have to take a little extra care for that, but that's how it is, and this is exactly the same, it's identical. Five by five, and I'm ready to ventilate. So you can see how nice it and snugly it fits the head. It's like a glove. I don't know if this is the head curve of her, but it's essential that it's it has a little bit of curve, and you know, it's a little stretchy, just a little bit that you can just make sure that it's gonna fall nicely. And this is what I was explaining to you before, the hairline is going to go until here, like that or something. But I have no ribbon here. So I just finished one of the week, uh, the closures. I'm whispering because everyone is sleeping. And here's what I did. If you can see, I'm going to do exactly the same to the other one. Uh, but I want to tell something. I just put a lot of dents here on the crown on the yeah on the crown where the hair spreads as well as the sides you can see that this little strip of hair is like 10 times denser than that and here as well you can see that so what happened is that on the remember that all, not all the wefts were bleachable well on this little part here the dense hair where i don't really mind um uh, because it's going to be concealed I used hair that was not virgin because I don't need this to be bleachable. The knots don't have to be bleached. And everything else is just hair that is being bleached. Now I still have to do the hairline. It's gonna be a little bit round kind of. And I'm gonna use obviously single strand, single knot here, and I'm gonna use bleachable hair virgin. So the first one is finished. I have also made the feathered hairline. I didn't use any different strands this time. I'm gonna bleach it and make sure that it's bleached. And I didn't use extremely thick strands for the very front. So when I was watching a really thick strand, I was just discarding it. Um, of course, this is not the center parting now because it looks kind of weird. But I didn't bo I didn't care enough for it to part because I just wanted to take the braids. So I finally finished this piece as well. Um, the only thing I have to say is that this hair is so thick and I had to change the ventilation pattern as I don't know if it's visible um, I have the other one in the back anyway so if I was ventilating the same pattern to the previous one this would end up being so much thicker um, this is the high definition hairline and up to this point this point you can see the, the thread this is also virgin hair but half definition this hair in the back is the hair that's not very um, acceptable to bleach but I will do my best and as you can see I just um, I made sure that the knots are gonna be very tiny so um, even if it's not bleachable very easily it's not gonna be a huge problem so I have the last thing for this order is to make this little mini closure it's actually I call these um, sorry I'm gonna take this away from here. I call these um, like invisible parts or something. It's just a, a parting area because you don't have enough to do. It's about two inches. And it has to be four inches, so you guess I'm gonna have to go past the ribbons, obviously, because these sides are gonna be very close to the front, and I don't wanna have ribbons over there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you diagram. Um, there it is. It's two inches by four inches. I'm gonna make a center parting, which is gonna be about. I'm gonna see how much I'm gonna make it. Let's see. It's gonna be about probably one and a half centimeters. And then the rest is gonna have plenty of hair in order to conceal everything else. So I guess this is gonna be a better way to make it. And she wouldn't have enough part ability with this because if you're gonna part it here, you're very close to the ribbon. So you would be it would be visible. So this sizing is just an easy and good way to just uh, make a wig or a weave and then put this as an invisible part. And it's gonna be so much cheaper than just a huge closure that is five by five you can see how much that is 
So I'm gonna ventilate that and then finally I'm gonna have to blitz the knots and finish this order which is a big one and send her the pieces. So let's see how this turns out. And it's over. You can see this is the hairline. This is hair that is resistant to bleeds. Unfortunately, that's all I could do. And this hair here is um, virgin bleachable, but it's the length was similar, so I couldn't use anything else. I'm sorry, the hair that you sent me is what you're asking for a unit. So I'm gonna bleach everything now and I'm gonna tell you exactly how everything turned. But if you can see, I made this in high definition because this is a fixed parting. It's like uh, just a parting, as I said. So even if it doesn't bleach very well, it's not gonna be that visible. So I am finally over. And I say finally because this took a lot of time. So this is how it is. This is the piece that was a full virgin hair, except for the back. You can see that the back is not bleached, but I don't care about this part so much. And I did this to save some time. Um, I didn't over bleach it because this is acceptable to bleach so I didn't want to turn it like too pale but this is against white contrast so I think it's better to show you against my skin this is the high definition part I haven't put out the elastics yet just to be able to show you all the little partings that I did this is the high definition front part this is single strand single knot and then of course in the front i have the feathered um hairline you can see how nice that is i hope you can see actually <laughs> every time i think that i'm not on frame that or it's not visible when i edit the, the video i say that oh it was visible in the end so i need to stop saying i don't know if you can see that i need to stop saying that because i'm pretty sure that you can see that um, I'm pretty satisfied with this. The hair was very good. It's a uh, super virgin. It's lighter than um, a Lighter in density uh, In thickness the strands lighter than the other hair now. Let's move on to the second one This one has much thicker hair much coarser and this is not 100% uh, um, virgin. It's actually resistant to bleach I think they have dyed the hair because it takes bleach, but when you dye it, it turns like almost red so when you dye your hair black uh, it usually turns um, red and I had to do two bleaches in order to make the knots uh, dark orange I'm sorry but this is on the only thing I can do if I bleach it one more time I think I'm gonna ruin it but I think it's good enough this way it's better than just black and I'm gonna show you against my skin again um, also, you might notice that this is slightly more, um, I don't know, visible as a pattern, but the thing is that uh, this hair is so much coarser and thicker. If I did the same ventilation pattern to the other one, this would end up being like 150% density. So I had to feather out more the, to, to make less knots and less hair per uh, square unit of the base because the hair is so thick. Um, you can see the difference. I mean, look at that. I'm pretty sure that even the camera can pick the difference. This is the high definition part, uh, the bleachable part as well. And this is the other one. This seems like Chinese hair and this seems like anything else, like Brazilian or Indian or whatever. And then we have the front, which is the full high definition, the hairline. And of course, it's with uh, virgin bleachable hair all the way to the side. Um, the seams that I have are not visible because they blend. Yeah, I think that I did a very good job. And you know what? I'm going to have to tell you something. Before you send me hair, if you have it in your hands, just check a small piece, try to bleach it. And if it doesn't bleach, it's, it's going to make the, the piece worse for you. Okay. And also, when you ask for yucky textured hair, you actually ask for Chinese thick coarse hair and it, it doesn't ventilate easily. It doesn't look good. I don't know who wants this, this kind of hair. No offense, but this hair is very difficult to work with. And I don't think that it makes as good job as the front one. So this is the, the second one and the third one and the smallest one. This needs a little bit more brushing right now because I just took out the braids. It needs brushing and 
styling a little bit. So this is the mini closure or the invisible part or whatever you want to call it. It's a narrow strip of hair, but it also needs a lot of job to be done because if you see like um, on this part here all the way to the perimeter, I had to do exactly the same job to the other ones because I still need to put a lot of hair. I still need to put a lot of hair to conceal everything else. You can see here that it has so much dense hair a lot of thickness and especially in the back you can see how thick the, uh, the, the double finishing is uh, sorry the double thickness is it's not even double it's like three times more and the re I used also because I ran out of the uh, virgin hair I used also um, the bleach resistant hair for the top but as I told you this part here is in half definition and this is full high definition so it's less visible and less patterned i hope she can be she can use that of course the hairline is uh the bleachable hair and it's in high definition i'm gonna have to mount all the pieces on the mannequin head with some uh, pins and then i'm gonna have to just brush them make sure that the knots are tiny braid them to make sure that they're not gonna tangle when i ship it and then i'm gonna ship it the hair Finally, this this order is a huge one, and I thank this girl for making such a big order. I hope she's satisfied. And I took it, uh, I took the, um, the elastics out. This is the piece that has the lowest quality hair. Um, it has the not so easily bleachable hair, so you can see that the knots are still kind of visible. And since the hair is extremely thick, um, it's also much uh, visible for the knots to be there. And you can see that the hairline is um, better because not only the hair, oops, not only the hair is better in this area, it's thinner, and also here it's a high definition part, so it's very easy for you to see that this area is so much better. I think that the density might look a little thicker on this one, just because the hair in the back is so much thicker in density and uh, strand thickness but it's all i could do if i put less hair then it would be so much uh, it would look like thinning hair because that's what the problem with uh, thick strands is they will make a, a, a big density for just a normal piece and if you try to lower the density then they might look like they are thinning that's why the agents for example always appear to have very thick hair because they have thick strands but I think uh, you can make it work very easily uh, about the knots. You can very easily uh, try to put some concealer if you want to, if you think that they're too visible. I know that the uh, uh, mixed girls are quite crafty when it comes to try to conceal something that they don't like because they always have to find easy solutions in uh, pieces that are not sometimes not the best. This is a good piece, but you can see that this area is a little bit more obvious. So I think I'm pretty satisfied with what I had to do with this piece. And I'm gonna show you the other piece now, of course. And this is the other one. This is until the half definition, and this is the high definition. All of this hair is the hair that is bleachable. So you can see how much better that looks. And also, um, the no, I already said that the, the hair is the bleached hair. Yeah, also, this hair is uh, better, it's thinner, it's all that matters. And whatever you part is going to be uh, good enough. I really hate it. No, I don't hate it. I actually have to make the half definition because that's the way it works because it's it's a different price. But you know, this is half definition. It's, it can be better than that, but still it looks good. You can see here, for example, everything is blitzed enough and nicely. This is the hairline. And yeah, what I also have to say is that when you take a piece from me, you have to wear it 
and you have to brush it towards the direction that you want and uh, blow dry it as well so it takes the form that you want side parting also take a little bit of extra care for the base because it has the returns and let me just see yeah um let me just show you the returns for example they are there let me just take a very thin slice these are the returns you can see them they are there but they can lay flat if you want to if you want this to lay flat enough I hope I made the density correct she didn't want a, a very thick density I think this is good enough but when you wear this unit you don't have a white contrast you have your skin and I'm gonna show you and you also might have uh, your own hair underneath if you're not wearing caps so this is gonna appear much more dense okay I left this piece for last because it's pretty much the best one because uh, it's the best hair wise it's because I had all the virgin hair in my disposal to work with and it just worked like a charm <laughs> 